Hello friends, I just woke up from a nap. It is the summertime. I don't like it because it's hot. It's summertime. It's hot. I don't like it. Okay guys, so I am back in action. Yes, I haven't made my bed yet. I will make my bed. Um, and we're gonna go over some puzzles that have been finished. If you like puzzle videos, reading vlogs, general vlogs, blah, blah, blah. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you can do me a favor and like this video, like it right now, just like it right now, you're gonna like this video, that's why you're here! <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. And yes, sidebar, if you are wanting to just jump into the content and my puzzles, uh, fast forward like a minute or two. Um, but if you want to hear me talk about how my summer's been going, Give me like one or two minutes and I'll be here to tell you about that. How's your summer been going? Um, mine has been going well. It's been very hot and it's summer and I don't like it. <laughs> it's like the theme of today's video. Um, so I've been very unmotivated to film, edit, all of the above to the point of where I was like, I'm going to take the whole summer off. Well, I definitely rethought that after some time and I'm like no let's just keep rolling with YouTube I really want to become a full-time content creator keep growing this community and creating content and a lot of the time when I get overwhelmed um aka burnt out I just want to stop everything sometimes I want to stop living <laughs> TMI sorry um anyways and I have to you know ground back into my life and my body and figure out what my next steps are going to be, which is usually just picking up where I left off after I've had my little meltdown. Um, but outside of that, you know, family drama, blah, 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 finally letting go and cutting cords and embracing um, the new energy in the universe and in my life, which has been a lot of fun, but a lot, very taxing. Like last week, I was just fatigued the whole week. So um, if you are one Per, or if you're a person where summer just takes it out of you, I relate. I understand. I am here for you. We, you are not alone. We are in this together. And there are days where the summer and the sunshine is perfect and it's beautiful and I love it. So just like any season, we just got to roll with the punches. Um, but anywho, let's get into the puzzles. If you stuck around for that rant, thank you. <laughs> You're a real one. Um, but yeah, let's get into the puzzles that I've finished for the past few months. It's only been like three puzzles. Um, not a lot of puzzles. I've been focusing a lot on my felt team. Anywho, um, let's jump a bit. What did my mouth just do? Let's just, <laughs> let's jump into it. All right. All right, friends, so I'm going to start with this Cat Zodiac 500-piece puzzle from, I always forget, Gallison. I like this brand of puzzle. This brand of puzzle was a really great find for me. It has thick pieces. Let me show you one of the thick piece cuts. Um, whoop, whoop, can you focus? Focus, 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 focus. Okay, it is a nice, like, sturdy cardboard, so it's not very easily bendable. That's what I really appreciate about these type of puzzles that are a little bit more, like, plasticky, I want to say. Um, and they usually have, like, this white background. Um, so I've had a good experience with this. Someone has commented on my past video where I did a puzzle with me and introduced this uh, puzzle to everybody, and they say they've kind of had... Um, off again, on again, and off again experiences with Gallison. So take what I say with a grain of salt, but at least the ones that I found at Barnes and Noble, um, brand spanking new, not reused, have been great quality. And the puzzle itself was so easy. I'm telling you, this was like the perfect palette cleanser as I was working on vacant hotel because that one was driving me cuckoo bananas. But this one, as you see, have like different. Obviously, they're all the zodiac signs, so you can tell that there's different little pictures within the whole puzzle. So it was super easy just to pick out, okay, that's Aries, that's Taurus, that's Gemini, that's Cancer, that's Scorpio, and then work on those little individual puzzles 
as I went along and it was just so cute and it was so easy. So that's what, four, eight, 12 mini puzzles within one big 500 piece puzzle, which I think was why I loved it so much. Um, again, really great quality puzzle. Doesn't pass that pickup test. Oh, kind of. Um, we'll do pickup tests at the end when I'm pretty much going to <laughs> put these away. Um, but yeah, love this puzzle. I'm going to take this one apart because this is one that I'm definitely probably going to want to do in the future. If you have not seen my video where I introduce this puzzle and do like a mini little puzzle with me, highly recommend it because you'll see like the little Easter egg that comes along with this, which is basically little descriptions of each of the zodiac signs as if they were in their cat energy. So very cute. Let me know which cat you are. What is your star sign? Tell me. I want to know. Um, but yeah, highly recommend five out of five for this puzzle for me. 100%. That's me. Today's intermission is brought to you by strawberries. Oh my God, those look so good. This one though, I mean, that one's basically ready. Anytime they have start to like go like that. I mean, if I left it in there for like two more days, it would probably start molding. So this one is ready to eat now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> that gross? Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> Moving on. 400 piece Star Wars family puzzle from Buffalo. This one was so cool. It was so cute. The poster that came with it let us know that this is actually from a pinball machine. So let me know if you've ever seen this pinball machine in person. This is the artwork that's on the back of that of the board when you're playing. You know how you have your boom, you have your uh, game going on right here and then as it goes up it's like the the picture. Well, this is that from that. And I thought it was so cool. We found that out after we had worked on it. Jeff did the majority of this puzzle, um, but I helped a lot. Well, not a lot, a lot, but I helped when I was definitely, when he was puzzling, I was like, oh, let me, let me help you over here. I finished the Death Star, for example, um, and helped him with the title over there, helped him with like that coloring over here because I really liked the texture. So I was drawn to that texture right here and just started working on it and finished it up for him. Um, but he did all of this. Oh, the majority of it was him. Um, but as you can see, these are bigger puzzle pieces which were so cool. So Jeff, within like the first five minutes of playing with this puzzle or solving this jigsaw, he was like, this puzzle is so fun. Thank you for getting it for me. And I was like, absolutely, because I knew it was going to be fun. I knew you would have a good time. But yeah, so these are the bigger puzzle pieces um, compared to like what the smaller puzzle pieces. Let's just take a little corner piece. Boom. So big piece cut difference there half of the puzzle is in this one half of the puzzle is in this size so the intention of that is that you have your kid working next to you puzzling on one side or you know someone who probably might not just be as um quick when it comes to puzzling or just you know likes bigger pieces and then the person who wants to be the more advanced or the parent puzzler would work on the left side for the smaller size. And everything fit perfectly. So nothing was like wonky. Here's one of the big pieces and it has almost what, two, three, um, about three pieces that surround it vertically right there. So it was a really, really fun puzzle. Highly recommend. The artwork is super cool, super easy. Um, and yeah, a 400 piece puzzle. You can work on it solo. You can work on it with a buddy, um, with your kid, etc. And yeah, the, the poster board or the poster that comes inside of it is really cool too. Boom. Oh, I forgot to rate it. Five out of five. Yee. And let's give it up one more time for the strawberries, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary folks and queer folk of the world. Oh my God, look how red that one is. Holy moly. Oh, I want that one right now. I've learned this about myself that if I have fruit or just like any food in general, meal prep it. This I consider meal prepping because I washed them, cut them up. So now you can just go in, grab some strawberries um, and not think twice about it especially when I need a little snack and I just open the fridge and I'm like, man, but I don't want to wash the strawberries and I want to cut the strawberries. Guess what? Guess what? They're right here and they're ready. They're prepped for you. Last but certainly not least, we have this beautiful puzzle with one missing piece. 
BS, one missing piece. We knew it was gonna happen. This puzzle was on this table for almost two entire full months. So our cats got to it. It was a miracle that we only had one missing piece because Jeff brought one to work with him and that's not the one. But that just go, goes to show you, <laughs> yeah, some of these pieces were definitely um, growing legs and, and walking and hiding. So that one, um, MAI, probably will, probably will never be recovered, but we will remember it fondly, especially because when we first opened the box, we had to have touched it. <laughs> Anyways, this is it. This puzzle, I'm giving a four out of a five because it was fun. But it was very difficult, like all this dark space. And thank you everyone so much in the comments. No joke, every comment that I read cheering me on when it came to this puzzle, um, cheering us on, I would read them out to Jeff. I would be like, we can do this. And it really did help me get through this puzzle. So I just wanna thank you guys um, for the encouragement because I finally finished it. Both of us did, Jeff and I both finished it together. And it came together really well. Um, like I said, it is a pretty hard puzzle. Um, four out of five overall for the experience because it was hard. Um, and that really does go into a final rating for me. If I find myself wanting to kind of cry <laughs> at the end of a puzzle, um, it's going to go down in rating for me. But not by much, especially because this was a really great quality puzzle. This is Ravensburger, so we all know that quality is going to be nice and thick. Um, and I like that satin finish that it has. Yes, it's a little glossy, so that's another reason why it was a little bit lower on the rating scale, um, because, you know, in the glare, it's pretty hard to differentiate between all of these dark spaces. So you had to, yeah, we had to have our lighting right um, the majority of the time, and sometimes we actually just struggled through it, and we're like, okay, it's fine. There's not that many pieces left. So. I um, definitely love the illustration of this puzzle. That's what drew us to it in the beginning. If you haven't seen my overview of all of the Abandoned Series puzzles from Ravensburger, check that out. That video is up and it kind of shows you um, all of the series, all of the puzzles. It does show you that. It doesn't kind of show you that. I show you all of the puzzles from the series because one day I would love to complete all of them even though this one drove me mad. But it was great. Look at how beautiful it is. And it was definitely satisfying when I finished it. Um, when we finished it. Because <laughs> Jeff definitely helped me a lot on this puzzle. Um, but yes, this is it. We did it. How cute are those little cats? So we got one, two, three cats. One little dormouse right there. And then a few other Easter eggs up in here. We did not see this little girl right here. It's like a little ghost girl. Um, painting that graffiti. So this is definitely a haunted vacant hotel that has ghosts graffiti the the facility. <laughs> so cute, I love it. can be picked up. So this is, I think, called the pickup challenge, um, but it's also like a pickup test to see how well quality or how thick the cardboard is. Because I guess just because you have a thick cardboard uh, doesn't mean it's necessarily a great puzzle, but I would argue that it is. So let's start with the first one, the Ravensburger. This one we kind of already know it's gonna lift, right? We're gonna, we're gonna be able to pick this one up. Yeah, we did it, we did it. Oh my gosh, this is it. I can't wait to look at this footage. Look at it. I mean, it's a bummer there's a missing piece, but 
it is what it is. That's something that we just live with as jigsaw puzzlers. Like the likelihood that we're going to be able to always have 100% of the puzzle pieces present is very, very low if we puzzle a lot. So at least one out of every what? 20, 30 puzzles is going to have a missing piece. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting my statistics. I don't know. <laughs> That's just on one sample size, AKA me. Anyways, here it is. And also not everybody leaves their puzzles on a table for over two months and let their cats <laughs> sit on top of it. <laughs> Anyways, here it is. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> the next one is the Star Wars puzzle. This one, Jeff already kind of was like, nah, you know, it's not gonna hold. So, <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. I thought the whole thing was gonna fall apart. <laughs> it's definitely falling apart though. Okay, let me put this one back in the box, but there it is. I think this one is more due to it having <laughs> different um, puzzle piece sizes because I've had buffalo puzzles before that do hold. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away before I lose any of the pieces. Not bad though, not bad. Better than I think what Jeff thought it was gonna do. <laughs> okay, and we are going to end with the one we started with when I was showing them off. I don't know, I'm 50-50 on this one. It could go either way. <sighs> okay, three two, one. Ah, okay, we got another solid one. Really good. I mean, I see a piece that wants to pop out right there on the Capricorn um, cat, but everybody else is intact. Oh, hi, Nudgy. We did it. Yay, look how cute this one is. Isn't this a really cute poster? I really, really love this one. This one, I again, I'm gonna take it apart because I'll probably do it again. It was a very easy puzzle, but this would be one that if it was like a thousand pieces or a little bit more difficult, I would definitely wanna glue it together because I just love it so much. Yay, this one was my favorite puzzle that I've done um, out of the three and probably my favorite that I've done this year. Yay, I love easy puzzles, sue me. <laughs> Okie dokie, my friends, that is everything for today. Thank you again so much for joining me today and hanging out, take, checking out my puzzles, the completed puzzles that I did. Um, what puzzles are you currently working on? Do you work out on one puzzle at a time or do you like to mix it up and kind of have two, three puzzles going at the, at the same time? I mean, of course, space is a big part of that, but puzzle boards really do make a difference when it comes to being able to have more space, creating more space for our hobbies and the things that we love to do. So, hi Najee! If you loved that video, please like it. If you forgot to do it earlier, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. I make new puzzle videos as much as I can. Um, and of course, all the other content that I make is down the pipeline as well. So thank you so much for joining me. These are the beautiful flowers hee -hee, that I bought Jeffrey yesterday. I mean, look at that sunflower. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, but I hope you have a great rest of your week. And yeah, take it easy. It's summertime. It's hot. I don't like it. Bye.